Blah, bunker blocks on the ramp. <laughs> All right. Do you have starboard updated, or should I? I'll take it away. Starting here in the top left corner of the map, guys, on the ladder version. Weirdly enough, of Shakur's plateau, we have the pink Zerg player, Complexity Sasquatch. And his opponent spawning in the upper right-hand position, trying to bring it back for his team. It is XO's Strikers as the Blue Terran. Now, one cool thing I do want to note on this map is because it's close air positions, there is the potential for Reapers. This isn't an option you often have ever, but neither of these players, of course, know where the other's spawning. But Sasquatch might just give that away, and it could change build orders around entirely. Yeah, and also drop play will be a critical part of this map and how it is responded to because, I mean, if you invest in drop play and it gets shut down, you're hugely behind. You've, like, really invested. Like, for example, go for a Hellion drop and it's just not uh, able to do any damage. That did not go so well for you. But on the other hand, if you are able to get in barbecue a bunch of drones, that is one of the best ways to pull a win against the Zerg. And I'm just it looks like some... there is going to be no cheese, actually. At least yeah. no meaty cheese coming out, which I am kind say... of glad to see. Sasquatch continue with that drone production. And uh, he will discover the base location of his opponent. So for those who don't know, by the way, the reason there's a little bit of a hiccup between doing this is in the latter version, there are no supply depots down here to block wall-ins. But uh, because yeah, Strikers is a good guy, shouldn't have any problems with that whatsoever. Although I think they said after the 11 minute mark or something like that is fine, but... We do have that I know. Early that, uh, anything, anything that's uh, earlier. I'm sorry. Anything that's later than an 11 racks is just too economic for him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, pool. Or sorry, no pool yet. Going hatchery first. Sasquatch. Thing, very typical openings. Uh, I would have liked to see some Hellions and some Banshees come out of Strikers, but the time has passed for that. As we have very late gas. In fact, no gas still. Yeah, going for the early gasless style, but um, I don't know. I mean, we've already seen that some of the players on XO are willing to play very economically greedy, getting the ultra, ultra fast third base. And even if you don't actually take it at a third base position, having that third orbital quickly will pay dividends for you just with the mules and increased SCV production. So right now we do see the gas going down considerably earlier for Sasquatch, which means that he shouldn't be as worried about any kind of early pressure. The Zergling speed will come out much more quickly and just be able to deal with any sort of harassment that he runs into. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I mean, Strikers has really been able to float around the Zerg base for a long time. Just keep his eye on everything going on. Yeah, only just now the uh, spawning pool is finishing up, and so there's just really no attacking units, and this SCV gets away completely scot-free. Uh, one of the very few veteran scouting SCVs there are in the world. Yeah, there's a reason you don't hear about, like, MC-level SCVs. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have that double gas finally down with this expansion. We will see a much later, but still an on-time Hellion, most likely Hellion Banshee opening as there's very few reasons to have double gas if you're not going to go for something like that. Doing the very clever bunker positioning as well. I love that Terrans do this because while the kind of the temptation is to put the bunker right at the top of the ramp so you utilize the high ground very well, this bunker actually protects what's important, which is your wall in and your mineral line. Yeah, and it does, of course, limit surface areas. Three quarters of it is blocked off. Mm-hmm. And there's that reactor, that beautiful reactor that all Terrans love having. <laughs> oh, the wait, Roach Warren coming down. Also, droning has completely stopped. A pretty noticeable bank of money currently building up for Sasquatch. Uh, I think we're about to rough. see a bust. If you've got Hellings out on the field, it is nigh impossible to deal with Roaches early on. Any player who's ever done mecking or tried Banshee Hellion harassing, if he's got that Banshee out on the field, which looks like he just might, he can hold this off. But I mean, seven roaches already underway, and if those go out right away, Strikers is not going to have anything to deal with this early on. Yeah, it's one of the really scary things. Wow, nine roaches. This is a serious... Like, he delayed it by about, like, 30 seconds more, but is now getting ten roaches because of it. So it's a much larger, even a slightly slower attack. And one of the things that's important to keep in mind about Banshees is that while the roaches obviously can't shoot at them, and eventually the Banshee will clean up the attack, they just don't deal huge amounts of damage against roaches. Roaches are so beefy, they don't die that fast. And he's got no scouting information, knowing this is really coming. Just kind of the anticipation of already throwing down bunkers. Ooh, do there see they are, this, the SCVs do see it. But there's not enough time to complete lots of these buildings. I mean, the starport doesn't even have a tech lab, in fact, being used to make marauders right now. 
Yeah, I think that's exactly the response he needs. He's probably going to need to lift off this natural expand SCG's and just try to save uh, the bunker. And hopefully Strikers, he does... Uh, if he doesn't lift that supply deep at the top of the ramp, we could see some Zerglings run by, but actually there's not too many with this army. It's just primarily Roaches. And two SCVs and a Mule is not going to be enough. Really smart to decide to target down the SCVs, though, as he knows that once the repair is no longer happening, this bunker will go down in a real hurry. And there it is. Oh no, not pulling back the units. He really needed to try to save that Marauder. However, but he's been SCVs already have been pulled, and the Roaches cannot focus fire up on the high ground quite so easily. But look at the transition out of this. Even though he's invested so much in this attack, he's still noticeably up on workers at right now 36. Uh, and he's also going to layer tech. And so even if this attack doesn't kill off strikers, oh, that's to the... totally fine. The reactor falls and it opens up a gateway for these roaches to get right past that bunker. SCVs trying to block it off, but unfortunately, just losing so many SCVs. Yeah, doing the smart thing with the roaches right now. He sees that he's like, yeah, that bunker's going to be kind of a pain to deal with. So he just kind of walks He does by have the it. Banshee underway, though. So even if he loses this tech lob, not the biggest loss in the world as he was not researching Cloak. Marauders yeah, we'll trying to clean this Banshee, up. Though. And yeah, unfortunately... Yeah, Banshee without Cloak is not that hard to deal with with just Queens. And looks like this pack will eventually be cleaned up, but at what doesn't cost? Matter. 12 SCVs to 43. So many units lost. It's going to be nigh impossible for Strikers to even this out. I mean, back at home, Sasquatch has a very nice drone count. He's throwing down a Spire, even. And, uh, well, um, there are no Spore Crawlers, but unfortunately, there's also no Cloak on this Banshees. Yeah, it's a huge amount of gas for Strikers right now, though. He really, I think, wants to pull these SCVs off the gas geysers. He desperately needs minerals to try to recover from this. He will be getting a nice influx, though. It did just land through three, no, four mules down at his natural expand. But again, without that Banshee early on, I mean, the Marauders were a nice attempt, but I don't think they were the appropriate response. He could have held just as long and had that Banshee out much sooner. And unfortunately, uh, this Banshee's going to try to start poking around, but there are Queens up, and a Banshee can take out one Queen, but not two. Yeah, with the Queens that are already on the field, I don't think this Banshee's going to do all that much damage, straight particularly for the drones, too. Though. The Spire is going to finish up in just about 30 seconds, which will mean kind of a hard end to uh, any sort of air harassment. Oh no, and it does look like Strikers is trying to transition to Mech, but the problem is he's been without gas for so long, it doesn't matter how much you bank up. If those Mutalists come, there's going to be no anti-air for Strikers. Everyone knows that the weakest part of a Mech army is that little bit of time before there are Thors on the field where you can just have Mutalists come in and swarm your opponent over. Yeah, the transition to Mech is very odd choice in my humble opinion oh no look at the front here these marauders and hell he's both being surrounded by zerglings oh yeah trying to clean this up those marauders might both fall if not careful he did lose two marauders and two hellions definitely not an easy position to come back from he is immediately building a thor though i really like this decision not going for the siege tanks knowing that he desperately needs anti-air just as fast as possible did he actually see the um spire no this is just crazy good at game sense coming out of strikers as he knows that his opponent is kind of doing tricky things things that will catch him off guard yeah, and airplay the definitely already one of those. flying over a turret going down in the middle of the line but it's gonna be a little late and that thor will not be out in time to deal with this just yet Oh, he really needs to spam click. Yes, he does. Immediately repairing and rebuilding that uh, missile turret. And again, this Thor is still not quite ready to be out. It's so close to completing. However, one Thor, he's got to micro this well. Also, he needs to keep it alive. I mean, if it's magic box, it could go down really quickly. However, it looks like instead of trying to uh, commit too hard to this muta play, he's willing to just accept the map control it gives him and continue droning up. Right now, though, it is 70 uh, workers with 10 more on the way against just 25, 25 SCVs. It's very rare you see a three times advantage. I think one factory was the appropriate response to get that Thor out quickly. Instead of having the second one, maybe should have invested in the command center so he can make up that worker difference. As right now, look at his economy. He just doesn't have enough to support this mech build right now. Yeah, he's like not even producing. Uh, in fact, even currently supply blocked, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh, using the supply call down to get unsupply blocked. I can understand the pressure feeling the need to get units out quickly, but that just hurts your economy so much. Not to mention the fact that we have no siege tanks on the field. Siege tech is underway, but with bailing speed and a lot more probably circlings to follow this up. I don't see any way for Strikers to really hold this off. The best bet he has is if Sasquatch throws roaches at him. That's all he's got going for him right now. 
Really, though, just take a look at the economy, which is building up right now. We're up to 96 drones and a fourth base being taken this right now. This is just absurd. Like, real soon now, I mean, he can just throw units at strikers, and, like, he could lose every engagement at a 10 to 1 loss ratio and be completely cool with it. I hate to say it, but it feels like Striker's just fighting and delaying a losing battle, but I have my fingers crossed in hopes that he can come back from this, because if there's any build that will come back from this, it's definitely Mech. Yeah, it does need perfect positioning, though. The two Siege tanks are coming out. Siege mode is on the way, along with Terran Weapons Level 2, which will deal a very hefty amount of damage. It'll be a nice, nice thing for him. If he can make these roaches cluster up and come right into Siege tanks, it would be a good way to inflict some nice army damage. But again, a big problem is the fact that there are four bases. The economy, as you said, is ridiculous. Still, 96 workers to 38. I mean, he's had mules, sure, but that does not make up the difference. This is yeah. the only mech army I've ever seen where there's not an abundance of mineral Senex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, he's doing a great job keeping his money low, but uh, there's already a bank even building up for Sasquatch. I mean, he's going to be maxed out momentarily, just needs to wait for that last Overlord to pop so he can hit the true 200-200 supply. And then, I mean, he just kind of gets to do whatever he wants from there on out. Level 2 armor is about to finish up. Three Second tanks. missile attack on the way. like. Oh, oh, going for no, tunneling but... claws. On top of that, we do have a lot of overlords here with... Oh no, they're going to be dropped into the main, completely circumventing those siege tanks. Not to mention the Thors who are so slow, there's no way for them to get around in time. And it's the cry of the Valkyrie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> As these roaches are just going to swarm all over, and I think this is going to be the end of our poor, unfortunate Terran player. Yeah, the most annoying part of this is actually that he has Burrow as well, which means that if he can just take out these missile turrets, it forces Scans to even try and deal with all of these roaches. Now, the cleanup has gone, uh, like, ish okay. Where He's are those one stores? section of the roaches, Still at the front but... of the base. Yeah, unfortunately, the economic damage is not something that can really be recovered from. Back down to 36 workers against his opponent's 96 and 23 Overlord's more roaches Overlord's even in production. dropping creep in the base. I mean, this is just... This is havoc. SCV's been losing, pulled at this point. Yep. Losing both the tech labs and no more high tech units. Basically, nothing but Hellion's going to be coming out from here on out. At least until he has time to rebuild those. And I don't well, know, 199 put, supply. This will put Sasquatch at four wins, guys. He's looking to ace out. Or, so I guess no, because he, he didn't play first. Good game, well played. That yeah, would be all kill, though, uh, in his favor.